All right, will she fire up here? That's the question. All right, welcome back to part two on the 1967 Yamaha YL1. As you guys know, I picked this thing up maybe a week ago now for $500. I think I paid too much for it because this thing was rough. There's a mouse nest throughout the entire frame in here. They chewed all the wires so we didn't have spark. But uh, last video we finally got spark and we actually got this thing to pop over a couple times. I don't know if I'd call it a start. <laughs> and then uh, right when we were about to like start it up for you know a pretty good amount of time, the kick lever broke off and uh, that's kind of where we left it. We also did the carb clean and um, compression check and uh, we cleaned out the air filter as well. So that's kind of where we left it. Today, we are planning on getting this thing rideable. First thing we have to do is weld up the kicker and make sure that doesn't come back off or break off. All right, we've got our kicker clamped down here. Let's we'll attempt to weld it. Hopefully it welds up. I'll give it to this bike. It does have some good compression. It's really good. It's like actually hard to kick over. Um, let's check if there's any oil in the oil tank here. There's a window right here, but it's kind of painted over. It's hard to see. A little crusty. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, there's actually something in there. Looks like some of that old bluish green stuff in the tank actually looks really good. So that looks good. So here's the pump right here. And uh, how this works is oil comes down through the line back here into the pump and that pumps it through this line right here into the cylinder. When you do the throttle it activates the pump. See that? So that allows more oil to flow through when you're in the higher idle. And then the engine actually spins the pump as it's running and it just pumps directly into the cylinder there. So here is the bleed screw on it right there. See that? Let's just see if anything's coming out. It's all gravity fed from the oil tank. So let's see if anything's coming out here. Should just pour right out of here. Yup, look at that. So we've got some oil coming out. That's good. So the system is primed, ready to go. So it should be pumping oil if that pump in fact does pump. <laughs> that's, that's the question. So it looks like it's all complete and everything. So it should be working. Now we're just getting some new gas line to the carburetor here. This is like really, really small gas line. Coming to it, but this is gonna go right to here. So, all right, we got the gas line on there. We'll see if that works. If we need a bigger diameter gas line, we'll go to the store and grab some new stuff, but that's what I had laying around, so we'll try that first. All right, let's uh, work on the clutch um, lever. 
So here is the old clutch lever and perch. As you can see, it's all broken apart in pieces and uh, wasn't really working at all. It was just kind of dangling off the bike. So I found a new one in the parts bin. Had to modify it a little bit. Had to cut a little piece out of a, the lever right there for that to fit in there. But uh, everything's working. So now we just have to get this mounted up right to here. So that means this grip has to come off. And all this has to come off so I can get that on there. All right, I got one screw out right here. Next one. Well, that's why well, that's not working. Those wires are completely cut in there. Huh. Yeah, that's why the horn's not working either. You can see. Blue, green, and yellow are tied together for the headlight to come on. We'll investigate that horn button too. The brown. There's a brown wire for the horn, so that should be working. We might investigate that a little bit later. But that's off of there for now. And this little piece has to come off. It's right here. It's part of the old perch. Now we've got to get the old grip off. So to do that, we're just going to put some WD-40 down there. It's already kind of moving. <laughs> that came off way easier than expected. It's gonna be tight enough. Should be. I think we can go right there with it. Because these are actually into the. Into there, but oh, that's okay. Cool, that's working. We just have to adjust it a little bit. You can see it's moving the lever down there. All right, so right now the horn does not work. Let me just try it quick here. You can see the horn button does not work. Could be the horn that's bad or it could be the connection there. So we'll try that first. Get 
that out. We'll just take this little screw out of here. And this should lift right out of here. And you can see it's pretty dirty on there. That bushes in there like that. So we'll clean off the connection right here and the one right there. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Just a little sandpaper. This guy off here. That's a little better. All right, and then the other one. This one just needs to be sanded off a little bit. There's a bunch of junk on there. It's cleaning up pretty good. The horn works now. All right, we got the switch back on. Let's turn it on and let's see if the horn works. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that fixed that. All right, time to check out this tank here. Let's just take a peek inside. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Just a little rusty, but not not too bad. Let's see what comes out of it. Let's dump it right on the floor here. Bunch of rust. A lot of rust came out of there. <laughs> and I noticed that it was JB welded right there. That tab was JB welded on. So hopefully it doesn't leak. All right, let's see how crusty this thing is. We'll get it off the tank first and then we'll work on it on the bench here. It's probably not gonna be too good. Oh boy, if, if I can even get it off the tank here. Oof, man, that's crusty. Oof, yeah. She is crusty in there. I can still hear more rust in there. Oh, all right, let's see if this spins here. Yeah, it does. Well, that's a good sign. Not 
too bad yet. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad in there, actually. Seal's all hardened up, so it's probably going to leak gas. It's really hardened up. Let's take the little ball off of here. It's not horrible. There's a little seal in here as well. That's hardened up. There's a little screen in here. A little filter screen. It's pretty clogged as well. Otherwise, it doesn't look horrible. Just some crud at the top here. It's old gas. through not as bad as I thought it was going to be so that's good so we're going to blow this out with the air compressor clean it up a little bit put it all back together alright so this crossover tube actually gets installed around the frame so it kind of like keeps the tank attached to the bike so unfortunately we have to attach this after we put the tank on, but we can get at least one of the lines uh, clamped down here. So we'll put a clamp on this end. Now we have to add a filter between this and the petcock here. Alright, let's see, where do we want to cut this? So it doesn't kink. We'll go right here with it. It's kind of a small gas line. I don't really like that, but... Let's get that hooked up to the petcock first. All right, we're gonna get some gas down it. We're gonna run some pre-mix, even though the oil pump should be working.
Looks like it's working. It's going down the filter. Nothing's leaking yet. That's good. Alright, will she fire up here? That's the question. We're gonna choke it and we'll see what happens. Ah, the kickstart broke off again. What we might try to do is bump start this thing. It might be easier, actually, um, instead of kicking it over. So we'll go outside, bump start it, and just see what happens, see if we can get this thing to run. I'm sick of working on that kicker. It just keeps on busting off of there. Well, I went to go pump up the front tire, and the two popped right through the tire. <laughs> so that's why we've got tape around the tire. So yeah, she's a little sketchy. <laughs> the back tire was fine. The front one just, just rotting away.
don't know, this thing's pretty fine. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> she fired right up and idles perfectly. And the clutch is working. Thing is just really fun. It rips pretty good. Oh man, this, this thing is really fun. I don't think I've ever ridden one of these, so it was definitely a unique experience. Yeah, I was pretty happy when it fired up. <laughs> you could see the huge cloud of smoke going out of it. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. That was pretty cool. And she bump starts like right away now, so we don't even need the kickstarter. So I'm going to do a quick oil change on this thing. And uh, we'll clean her up a little bit more and take it for a ride with the GoPro. But yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. So oil drain bolt is right down there. That big bolt right there. I can't remember if there's anything in here. Is there a dipstick on this? Can't remember if we checked it or not. Yeah, no dipstick, so. We'll see how much oil was in there. Is there a little logo on here? How much it takes? You'd think there'd be somewhere. It doesn't have anything on it. So I really don't know how much oil we're supposed to put in here. We'll have to look it up. But I'm guessing it takes 10 W40. <laughs> I'm just really surprised this thing ran. As well as it did. It, uh, it's pretty fun. Oh yeah, gotta check out the front wheel too. So our tape didn't hold up too well. You can see the big bulb just coming out. It's starting to rip, so we're gonna deflate that, tape it up some more so we can continue to ride it at least today. It obviously needs a new tire. But uh, that tube's holding. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny. All right. I think we got it to break free. Oh, there's a bunch of gunk underneath there. So much oil is in it, it'll be interesting to see. Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty reddish. Well, good thing we're changing it. I didn't want to run it too long without doing the oil change, so. Um, doesn't look like any chunks in the bottom end yet. Coming out of there. All right, looking at the oil, not much was in there. Not much at all. It's a good thing we're changing this out, but uh, no chunks or anything like that. All right, according to the manual, this thing takes 650 cc, which is about 650 milliliters, so let's dump that in. We were way off, so good thing we are adding some fresh stuff. We were really low on oil. Change is done. Just around. We got our wheel fixed up. Our tire, I should say. So we should be good there. Turn this thing to on. You see the neutral light works now. That is awesome. Alright, let's see if she fires up here. Oh 
stop it yet right away. This thing's pretty quick too. <laughs> and my clutch is working too. Oh crap. Stalled her out. Uh oh, the tire's hitting again. There's a big ball jiving right there. We might have to go fix that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the tube popped on the tire. You can hear it. We're riding without a uh, tire tube. Gotta be a little careful here. Look, look at Vinny taking a poop. We didn't get to ride much without uh, that tire not popping. I'd go faster, but that that uh, tire's popped now. Vinny, come on. Where did that Vinny go? Vinny! Vinny's on the road. Vinny, come on! Vinny! Vinny! Vinny, hey! Vin! Come on! Come on! Come on! Vinny! Hey. It's naughty. You gotta listen. You don't listen anymore? Again. She starts right up. Yeah, she goes pretty good, doesn't she? Let's see if I can get her into a second gear smoothly here. This is supposed to go like 65 miles an hour. Uh...
Well, that didn't last very long, the first ride. Um, the tire tube popped right away. And we were basically riding on the rim for most of the time. <laughs> so we'll have to get a new tire and tube for the front, but you can see how dry ride this thing is. It's like really, really bad. It's gotta be the original tire on the front. But uh, other than that, it's been riding, driving great. Bump starts right away. Things are riding like a dream, so. This one is pretty much as good as it's going to get. Horn works, gauges work, headlight works, clutch works. So it, uh, it goes good. Revs out in every gear. So I'm pretty happy with how far this thing has come. Because uh, when I first picked it up, I was like, no way this thing's going to run. But here we are. It's in running condition. And uh, I think this is as far as I'm going to take it. It does have a title, so we can ride on the road. It'd be a fun little commuter in town, for sure. They're supposed to go pretty quick, too. So, should be perfect for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something along the way. I know I always do. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one, and until next time, we are out.